Jesse wanted a horse, nothing more and nothing less. Unfortunately, that was too much to ask for, she thought. She found her dream horse, but when it was finally taken to a vet after a few days of horror, the vet looked at Jesse and said, Dear lady, do you have any idea what this is? It didn't take the vet long to realize that Jesse had bought a very strange horse. But what was so special about this horse? Was it, in fact, a horse? And why did it turn the vet into a nervous wreck? Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. It was an auction just to Jesse's liking, right by the country. Countless animals were being sold, and there it was. A unique horse, looking strangely beautiful. Jesse didn't need to think twice, but she should have. The salesman was a bit vague toward Jesse. He couldn't really tell her more about the horse other than it was called Africa, and it was about four years old. But Jesse didn't mind. The horse seemed special and reacted well to her caresses. She was coming home with her. Jesse didn't have a piece of land herself, but had an idea of where to keep the horse. Only a few blocks away, there was a riding school. There was plenty of room for other horses, and due to the short distance, Jesse could visit her horse daily. It all seemed bright, but things would unravel quite soon. The first sign of something being off occurred on the second day. Jesse was at work and was told to come to the riding stables at once. They wouldn't tell her why. Once Jesse arrived, she understood. The horse had too much energy to stand around and had to be exercised to accept her isolation in a stable. Then the stable owner proposed something that would change everything. He said she could use the horse track for free this time. He joked that he didn't need payment since it would save his stables. Jessie was not in the position to deny and agreed. She asked the stable owner to prepare the horse so she could run to her home and get the right clothes. But when she comes back, her horse will be gone. When Jesse returned, she didn't see her horse anymore, only a shocked stable owner. He said he couldn't believe his eyes. I've never seen a horse so powerful, he said. But Jesse wasn't interested in his words. She wanted to know where her horse was. The stable owner told her he had already taken the horse outside to prepare her. But when a loud car passed, the horse freed itself from a pole and ran off. Still, the horse was within the gates of the riding track and shouldn't be able to escape but the horse easily broke down one of the gates and ran off. The rescue service asked Jessie about her location, and as soon as she told them everything she knew, they asked her to come over to the station. Once she arrived, they calmly asked her to sit down. They showed her a picture picture of her horse, and Jessie immediately jumped up. They just told her they would do everything they could to rescue her horse, because everyone will benefit from it. Suddenly, Jessie knew there was a lot more to this horse than she initially thought. And so, Jesse, alongside the rescue service, began the rescue mission. The rescue service started in the areas around the stables, and Jesse walked over to a small forest just a few kilometers from the stables. She agreed with the rescue service to stay in contact. It wouldn't take long before she'd receive a phone call. The stranger asked Jesse to describe her horse, and Jesse tried her best to be as descriptive as she could, but she wasn't even halfway through explaining when the man suddenly interrupted her. What if I told you that your horse didn't run away but was taken? Jesse is stunned. The stranger was very sure of himself and pointed in the direction they came from. It was exactly the direction of the stables. What was the stable owner up to? Did he lie to her? Jesse called the rescue service right away. There was no time to spare. She expected the rescue service to respond very naturally to the news, as their mysterious behavior from before should be because of this theft. But they reacted as surprised as Jessie herself. What was going on here? The rescue service alarmed the police, and it didn't take them long to track down the stable owner. Jessie went to the place of the artist to see her horse, but was told the horse was already taken to a vet. After insisting, they finally told Jessie where she could find the vet. She rushed there and was received by the rescue service. Jessie ran into one of the team members of the rescue team, Amber. They started talking about everything and she could see how Amber was beginning to trust her as well. Then Amber revealed something that left Jesse completely shocked. Amber told Jesse that her horse was also stolen by the stable owner. It had been a while, but Amber still remembered it like it was yesterday. Perhaps this time justice was due if they worked together, but Amber wasn't too optimistic. 
Even though everyone knew the stable owner was guilty, he somehow managed to get away with it. This had everything to do with his connections, as he was a powerful man. Amber had some great advice. She told Jesse to actually do an interview with the media, and a big one for that matter. The stable owner would never expect that, and by giving this interview and talking about his theft, he'd get all the attention he was trying to avoid. Jesse agreed. She was willing to take these risks in order to save her horse, but she wanted something from Amber as well. Jesse was welcomed like a celebrity at the TV station. Why? What did they know about her horse that made Jesse a celebrity? One of the journalists took her apart to ask her about the question she had prepared. The journalist soon returned and asked her if she could do anything else for her. Jesse thanked her, grabbed her phone, and saw that she had a text message. She could hear the audience and the presenter who was introducing her. There were a lot of people, and Jesse was nervous. Yet she told herself it would be okay, since she did all this for her dear horse. Jesse entered the stage and started her interview. She mainly talked about the stable owner and his role in all of this. She mentioned Amber's horse as well. The audience responded greatly, shocked and cheered for Jesse's courage. Then finally, in return for her bravery, the journalist told her the deal with her horse. During the interview, the stable owner got arrested. Jesse's horse turned out to be a zebra smuggled in from South Africa. That explained its unique look and incredible strength. The stable owner lost it and tried to steal it back. The zebra was taken to a zoo where Jesse could visit her every week. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.